Hi, my name is Matthew Gast. I'm the Chief Strategist in the Office of the CTO at Trapeze Networks. This is a submission for the RSA Conference 2010 entitled Improving the Security of Wireless LAN Management Frames with 802.11w and it's submitted to the network truck. The background behind this submission is that 802.11 has strong protection for data frames based on the 2004 protocol developed and first published in 802.11i. It did a great job of protecting user data frames, but it left management and control frames unauthenticated. This is important because attack tools often exploit the lack of authentication in the management protocol and use that to launch attacks. These attacks can be a risk for denial of service, they can also be the prelude to many more complicated attacks against the network. And as we develop protocol enhancements in new standards like 802.11k and 802.11r and 802.11v, that will um, provide further points at which the protocol might be attacked. 802.11w provides authentication and protection for these frames. Frames that go to a single client device will be protected just as they are today. And, for example, in a, a, an attempt to disconnect a single client from the network will fail because an imposter attempting to forge this frame will not have access to the appropriate cryptographic keys. Broadcast and multicast frames are also protected. To do that, 802.11w had to develop a new protocol, the Broadcast Integrity Protocol, or BIP. To ensure that 802.11w applies protection in the case of um, disconnection attacks, there's a further um, protocol mechanism developed that allows either side of the conversation to validate that a security association exists. And this allows you to distinguish between the loss of cryptographic state, an error that you definitely want to recover from, as opposed to an active attack against the underlying cryptography. 802.11w is a strong enhancement to the security of wireless LANs, but there are a few caveats. It doesn't provide protection against physical layer jamming attacks, and the keys that it uses for validation are distributed through the existing four-way handshake, and that means that the protection isn't available until you complete the four-way handshake, which makes it hard to validate frames before you associate to a network. Um, the final risk is that the protocol makes use of a single key to validate management frames, and so therefore you are open to insider attacks. Thank you very much, and hope to see you at RSA 2010.